I created a process for automating Amazon to eBay or actually Amazon to any marketplace drop shipping orders. And the process involves using both a Google Sheet template as well as a Chrome extension that I created to actually automate the order actions on the Amazon website. So actually we'll open your product and actually add it to the cart, enter in the customer's address information and all of that for you, right? Now, um, if you're not going to do, or if you're not doing Amazon to eBay, you can also use the blank template here and you can manually, however you, you know, whatever your process is to get uh, data into the sheet, you will put get the uh, data in here, the customer and product data. But if you're doing Amazon to eBay, what you're going to do is actually download your eBay orders report and your eBay transactions report. You get the orders report from orders on the seller hub, you get transactions on your payments. You import those CSVs. You also need to provide a list of your eBay item numbers and your ASINs. You'll see I have these columns blocked out on this copy because this has my real data in it and real customer data that I don't want to reveal in the video, so that's why these are blocked out. But this, these formulas work and they pull in um, the, all the data you need as well as fees and everything so you can calculate profit at the end of the process also. Right now for the demonstration here though, I'm going to use this blank version. I will give you both templates and, and for the video I'm going to use this version. So as you can see, um, it has item number, ASIN quantity. You have to keep it like this, okay? You cannot change these names because the Chrome extension is looking for these literal columns, okay? Now, so um, on Amazon, when you start this process, if you're really going to order products, you need to make sure your card is empty. That's one. Also, uh, you should save your payment information, all right, so that when it gets to that part, the payment's there already, right? You don't have to add the card, okay, and all that. Now, for the test version, I'm going to go ahead and um, click on, um, or for any version, click on the Chrome extension um, right here, and you'll see delete Amazon shipping addresses. This is another function that it could do, which is delete shipping um, addresses from your account. But I'm going to go to purchase order, and I'm going to click on that so that we can uh, purchase products, right? Okay, and that should start the workflow. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, let me click. I might not have really clicked on the button. Okay. So now, first thing it's going to do is ask uh, for some input parameter so you need to tell it what spreadsheet it's working with okay so when you make a copy by the way of my template you're going to have a different spreadsheet ID so don't worry about the spreadsheet ID once you make a copy of the sheet it will change okay so when I make a copy of this when, or when you make a copy you're going to make a copy um, I guess I'll just go ahead and make a copy all right the copy will have a different spreadsheet ID right but anyway, right now I'm just going to go ahead and use this copy, uh, and I'll just highlight it, and copy that, go back to the workflow and paste that spreadsheet ID. The sheet's name is orders, automate, you can see that here, that's the default name. The index means which order do you want to do, because Maybe you don't want to do index number zero. You might want to do this one instead right now, index number one. So it's you're telling it where you want to start. Okay, zero is the first. One is the second. I'm going to start index zero. Maximum orders uh, with the full version. This is just the test version. You can do as many as you want. Okay, as many orders as you want to do. For this version, I'm only doing one. Okay, I can only do one order okay at a time place order means when it gets to place order it will go ahead and place the order all right you don't have to be there to click place order okay if you want that but you might at first i would suggest don't not doing that and then you can you know see for yourself that the address and everything is okay and the product is okay and then you can click place order when you have faith in the chrome extension and the process then you can go ahead and turn on place order and just let it place the order okay so that's my suggestion at least right so that's uh, optional so I'm gonna go ahead and run this um, workflow now I want you to know that it can be it could be 
slow and I'm not sure. I mean, I've only personally, I created this automation and I've only run it myself personally. And I didn't run it as a Chrome extension. I ran it on my computer or my, you know, locally. So um, when, that's why this is called the test version. It's for you to download, test it. And then I will also have the full version available immediately as well. And uh, with the full version, it's just the same as this version, except with the full version, you can tell it to keep doing orders. So you can select like 20 orders if you want, and it will just keep going. Like if you look at this template, it will just keep going down and doing all the orders, right? This version, the test version, will only do one, okay? Um, there is inherent delay, meaning, you know, part of the program so that it looks more human-like. You wouldn't want to just be ordering products on Amazon like super fast. That would look very odd on the uh, website, on their side. So there's that delay. And then there's also the machine you're using as well as your inter internet connection. And maybe the uh, timeout setting, I might have to change it. So I need that feedback because I'm just one person using a program I wrote mostly on my own side. I need you to use it and tell me what's happening for you that's how I'm able to improve all right so I personally did tons of orders uh, with this but again it was not in, as a Chrome extension I did it locally on my computer so time will tell now that was a subscribe and save item it will automatically switch that to one-time purchase and then add it to the cart which is what it just did this process is slow again so it's gonna take a while to continue okay so um, another thing I might need to explain uh, I'm gonna have to do more videos but um, Okay, well, it's here already. It proceeded to check out. It was faster than expected. Now it's selecting the quantity. Um, on the spreadsheet, I don't know if I, I didn't point it out, but the quantity was two for this first customer. So it does order multiple quantities as well. Um, so it will select two for the quantity. And you will see that two show here. It might be kind of small. The reason it zooms out this way, why I had it do that, is to make sure that it could find all of the page elements. All right, so by zooming out, it ensures that it will find all the links on the page that they're all in view. So now it's going to add uh, a new address. And you can see, I could probably zoom this up at this point. It should be fine. You see it just filled in the address, which is Microsoft Corporation, right? It's, it's just an address that I used, right? And you can see that that filled in, and it's paying with the saved payment that I have on here. Okay, this is a kind of artificial payment, artificial address that I'm using. Okay, and um, that's basically it, right? So that's what the item costs to get two of them. It's twenty two eighty six per roll. You're ordering two. It's a one time purchase. You order two of them, right? You know that it's not subscribed. If if I if it was subscribed, it, you would be you wouldn't see this. This is telling you to subscribe, right? So it's not subscribed. Okay, it's just it's a one it's a one time purchase. All you need to do now is click place your order and pay. But I'm not going to do that because this is not a real order, and the order will be ordered. Okay, but again, as I said, if when you first run this, if you select the place order uh, option, it will go ahead and place the order. But this is, you know, you saw the process, you saw the automation, right? Now, after the order is complete, you might want the supplier order number. I may have to do uh, maybe another video in the future. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But basically, um, it does not record the supplier order number as yet, okay? My first version of the Chrome extension does not do that. I'm, I probably will add that in future if people actually use the Chrome extension, people actually download it and use it, that will, you know, motivate me to do that. So, um, for now though, you're going to use a free Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. And what you do is you go to the orders, your orders page on Amazon where it shows all your orders, and you can actually scrape the orders page with Instant Data Scraper, and then you can import that CSV in here. And then when you click... No, not processed orders, not that, not that. When you click on Map Amazon Orders, it's the data scraper CSV, it will go through and what it's going to do, now remember, it doesn't know what's happening on eBay, so the only thing it can go by is the names. So it will look, it will see Microsoft Corporation, 
all right and see this stuff and it'll say oh that looks like th that must be this order okay and it'll take uh, the order number from Amazon of Microsoft Corporation okay that order number and it will paste it right in here okay it will also paste the um, cost of that order the order date doesn't always come out perfectly but the order date you can do yourself like today's the 15th I'll just type it July 15th and copy and paste it down right I'm not worried about the date okay order status I'm not worried about that either obviously you place the order and it's placed right but the cost it will definitely give you the cost and it will definitely give you the order number those are the two most important things all right if you're using the eBay template um, you also get the eBay information from the eBay the transactions report so you'll have like the pay information so if you're on the Amazon to eBay which is what probably a lot of people are going to be using this for uh, you'll have an actual profit calculation once you put in the cost um, what does an order even sell for okay so these are like some I don't know let's I'll just put two dollars in there or something right and then the profit will calculate okay so that's like the same um, process for all of them okay okay so this is this stuff is going to come from amazon once you download uh the orders using instant data scraper once you scrape the orders from that page and you import them into the template onto the order csv and you click on that map button it will do that all right the reset button will basically just delete like input information and stuff um, all right just delete some of that um this stuff over here as well I'm not gonna do that because I actually want to keep this um, and that's about it I mean if you've used any of my Google Sheets before or any Google Sheet with scripts with code you'll know what to do but if you haven't okay you're gonna have to let it give it permission to do that you're gonna have to give it permission to run a script and it's gonna the message looks quite a little ominous like oh wow like you know, this is you know some like a program's trying to take over your whole Google account. That's not what's happening. That's just the message they put because you know they want to cover their situation, right? Basically, it's, uh, I'll use that phrase, right? So basically, um, you know, it's like a precaution on Google's side, right? So that's basically it. Uh, another thing: this Chrome extension is not on the Google Market. You have to get the Chrome extension from me. It's an actual file you have to download. Uh, that's into goes into a zip file that you extract and you upload. I have a video explaining how to do this. I've used Chrome extensions from other people this way that were not available on the market. It's perfectly safe to do, and I've done it, and you can do it too. So you're gonna um, add this Chrome extension on here. Um, it's an easy thing to do and um, then you'll be able to run it like I just did you're gonna get copies of these two templates as well and this is really gonna save you a lot of time in automating Amazon drop uh, drop shipping orders from Amazon it's gonna save you money if you're paying like auto DS you know order credits every time you want to do orders you gotta pay them you gotta buy credits from them and all that you know it's gonna save you all that and you get to use your own account all right instead of having things happen like where they tell you that they can't do any more returns and then you have to you know swallow that loss things like that you get to use your own account to do your own orders with automation on your own account without the paid software doing it for you and charging you okay so you're gonna get the Chrome extension one time you also get free updates if I need to update things on the Chrome extension in the future you get the updates as well so go ahead and download the test version Try this test version, make sure that you actually can order products one by one, and then if you need to do like bulk, like 10 products back to back or something like that, then you can get the full version, all right? So that's it. I'll see if I can make more videos on this if there's any interest in this in the first place. And that's about it. I'm Mr. Mark. Um, this is Mark Teach Tools, in this case for sellers. I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around in another video.